What's up, Wayne Brown here with darkflex.net and we are going to set up Adobe After Effects and we're going to be doing this. Hi, right, pretty cool, huh? Okay, what we got here is that we just got some light beams uh, that we've got attached to our fingers. Uh, we tracked it inside of Adobe Tracker. Uh, we did not use Mocha, as uh, other people have suggested to do. You can use Mocha. It really depends on what you want to do. Uh, however, I found that using the internal tracker inside of Adobe After Effects worked out really great. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We've already got our new compositions. Come over here, import our footage. And we want to import following video all oh, this is just my hand I did have one of my son's hand but I had the uh, markers on his fingers way too big let's go ahead and open this up and this is basically what we have here so what we got to do is that we've got to track each one of these dots on our finger so we've already got our tracker open if it's not open go to windows and go down to tracker okay so we choose our layer come over here choose track motion and then let's go ahead and zoom in to it and you zoom in by using your scroll on your mouse and uh, let's go ahead and move up we want to start off with our thumb I'm not going to go through all of these because it's going to take a little bit too long so uh, we're just going to go with our thumb I'm going to come over here put it on a thumb and the only thing I did is I used a a marker uh, it depends on uh, what type of camera that you got and how clean that you can make your video but you want to have your fingers up the way I've got this almost like you're holding a plate in your hand and add some dots don't make your dots too big and basically like so and then simply go ahead and do your tracking and it really depends on how your tracking goes on whether or not you want to uh, uh, monitor it and because you don't want your track to jump off so we're just going to go ahead and stop it there as you can see it goes a little bit blurry and we don't want it to jump off so we stopped it so we, did, we got a good track up to this point okay you can see as it jumped off right there so we're going to go back go forward and then we're going to track forward just a little bit to where it jumps off okay so tracking track frame by frame made it so that it didn't jump off any so then let's go ahead and track some more all right and we jumped off right there so no worries since we don't have too much of a jump it just goes from one point to another we're going to drag this over to the side we're going to grab a hold of uh, it's hard to grab a hold of so we're just going to jump back Let's go forward here let's stop it there and then go forward again stop it and reset our tracker now this does take some time to do it so I strongly suggest that you just take your time and make sure that you got your track running just the way that you need it to run because in order to make the animation uh, look halfway decent, you need to have a really good track. Okay, that right there is our first track. So now what we want to do is that we want to do another track. And so let's come over here and let's do track motion. It's going to give us a track or two. Let's go ahead and come down. And you can uh, swat, uh, switch <laughs> switch between your cursors. Clicking the H brings up your hand. The V brings up your selection to, tool. So we want the hand. Let's bring our track all the way back here to the beginning. Over here. And let's track this one.
Okay, now let's hit with our track. We've got all of our track points here, so we can go through and actually toggle through. We got track one, track two, track three, tracker four, and tracker five. Come back over here to tracker one. Okay, the first thing that we want to do is that we want to come up here to layer, new, null object, add in our null. We want to duplicate this null five times, or four times, make it total five. So control or shift D to duplicate, that's two, three, four, and five. Come up here to the top, hit enter, one, second one, enter two, third one, enter three, fourth one, enter four, fifth one, enter five. Okay, so. The next thing that we want to do is that we want to come over here to our track one since we're on that click edit target and we want to choose one which is our thumb click ok and then click apply click ok now come over here choose mine again come over here to mine choose tracker two edit target and choose two click ok and then click apply, click OK. I want to do this for the rest of them. Okay, so now each one of our um, null objects are attached to the little dots on the tip ends of our fingers. Okay, so now that we got that one done, next thing we want to do is come over here to layer, new, solid. And uh, we want to make sure it's comp size, click OK. And we want to duplicate this. No, first of all, we want to do is come over here to Effect, Glow. We want to add in a glow, then come to Effect, Generate, Beam. Put our beam on top of our glow. OK, we want to set this at 100%. And let's go ahead and just make this about this size. So. Set it at 100% to begin with and then bring it down lower. That way you can actually zoom in to where we can get into this. Okay, now uh, with our blue saw selected, let's go ahead and uh, click on E. And let's go into our beam. And we want to go ahead and do something before we duplicate these. Let's go ahead and select our starting point and our ending point. Hold down your Alt key and click on your little stopwatch. This right here is going to automatically set these two to accept in expressions. Okay, so and also will give us the ability to come over here and hit EE -E twice to only bring up these two. So, now, let's go ahead and duplicate this. We want 10 of them, so let's Control or Command D. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So our very first one, we want to hit the Enter key. Type in 1-2. Second one is uh, enter key 1 1 4 1 5 2 3 2 4 2 5 3 4 3 5 and then our last one is 4 oops 4-5. Now let's go ahead and hide everything except at our video and our very first marker here. So now what I'm going to do is bring this down. Let's go ahead and click to our hand tool, move this up to here, and then to our V tool or our selection tool. Alright, now click on our beam and let's go to our thumb and then to our first finger. Our next one, beam, thumb. Okay, so let's come back over here and go up here to here. Fourth one. You always gotta select the beam. Once you select the beam, then you get your little targets here. Good. And then our very last one is going to be four to five. All right, there we go. Okay, so 
Uh, let's go ahead and move this all the way up to the top. Now, uh, as I showed you at the very beginning, we set up uh, uh, our very first one to automatically pick up so that we can add expressions. Let's go ahead and select all of these and hit EE. Oops, there we go. All right, so now let's grab a hold of each one of these and let's move them all the way up to the top. All right, so now what we want to hear is that we want to click on P for position to bring up in our position of our null object. Okay, so this is really simple. You should be able to go through it really quick. Basically, just take your pen whip tool for your expression. Your starting point is going to be the first finger. Your ending point is going to be your second finger. So let's go one. All right, one, three. One four, and then one five. Okay, so we got all of these done. Our next one is going to be two three, two four, and then two five. Three, four, three, five, four, five. All right, so now let's go ahead and select everything, come down, and then there we go. It is that simple to do. All right, well, as you saw in my uh, introductory, the demo video of this, we had everything dark, but the only thing that you could see was our light here. So the first thing that we want to do is let's go ahead and close them up. We want to make our video footage here. Okay, so what we want to do now, since we've made our layer, 3D layers, we want to come up here to um, Layer, New, Light. Okay, we got to have our, our video layer, a 3D layer, in order for the light to reflect off from it, because it does not work with 2D layers. I want to come down here, want to make sure we got it set at Ambient. I want to click OK. Alright, so, let's go ahead and go down into our Light Options. And let's go ahead and turn this black. And there we go. So then we come over here and we set a keyframe here. And then we come all the way up to about up in here. And then we bring this back up to white. And so there's a transition from black to white. Alrighty, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net inside of Adobe After Effects CC 2014. However, this right here can be used in any version of Adobe After Effects. Alright, y'all have a good one now. Enjoy, stay safe, see you next time. Bye-bye.